Good morning. <clears throat> As I sit here in my um, cardboard kingdom, I had a bunch of questions that people asked me on Discord and a bunch of experiences they had. And this comes to like starting a business like this. And I just want to talk about it because it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. <clears throat> so, I had a um, talk with someone. It's just uh, going through the process of like getting started in the business and stuff like that. Um, not necessarily have a physical store yet, but they're, you know, selling cards, whatever. So they have some interactions when, on Facebook with people, and it's always negative. People hate them. I don't know why. I think it's because no one likes to see anyone make money off their hobby, I think. I, I really don't know. I can't put my finger on it. I think that's what it is. But... I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel as though that's what it is, and it's a specific person that does this. Nine times out of ten, it's, um, you know, a person who um, either, like, attends a game store regularly and doesn't like that people that don't own game stores sell cards, like backpack dealers they're called, I don't know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> nine times out of ten it's that. Or it's just a, you know, totally irrational person who doesn't really want to see anyone make any money. Not that you'll make tons of money selling cards, because let me, <laughs> let me stop it right there. <laughs> you might make a little, might be able to fund your hobby and that's literally like what it's about man if you can like fund your hobby right there you're you're winning like i used to fix cars i used to like i had i used to be into like racing so i had all i had fox body mustangs i loved them between 85 to 93 that's the fox body mustang and we used to upgrade them and do things to them all the time and as soon as you would do anything in any car it would that part would be worth 50 percent of its value this is the only hobby in existence where sometimes the cards go up in value or the part goes up in value. It's very rare. It's probably, I would say 99.999% of the time, when you put a part in a car, it's worth 50% of its value. Not only that, when you take it out of the frickin' box, you don't even have to put it in the car, and it's worth 50% of its value. So, this is the only hobby in existence. I think, I don't know, let me know if I'm wrong where you could open a pack, put it in your deck, play with it, have fun with it, and maybe three, four months down the road when you wanna sell it, you wanna get something else, you wanna build a new deck, it's worth double or triple what it was. It happens. And this is the only hobby in existence where that could happen. And where if you have a little bit of knowledge or foresight, you can make a little money. And people hate that. But you just gotta, you know, it's all background noise in the end. Don't listen to anyone else but yourself. You're gonna make a lot of mistakes. You're gonna, it's gonna cost you a lot of money, believe me. When I first started my Amazon business, so <laughs> I, Oh my God, I, this almost made me quit. All of this probably wouldn't be here if I quit. Listen to this story. So, I got everything together. I got um, probably, uh, I started with, this is the first shipment I ever sent out too. 
So this is my first shipment, just getting into it. I wanted to go big. Invested everything. I still told myself, <clears throat> I'm going to take $2,500. And I'm going to buy some wholesale stuff and try and do something with it. Did it. Packaged it up. Thought I followed everything correctly. Sent it to Amazon. Got rejected as a shipment because of packaging issues. And I was like, oh, no. So they had to send it back to me. <clears throat> now, in order for them to send it back to me, they charged me 25 cents a unit to send it back to me. Now, I had very small units. I probably had over 1,000 units. <laughs> so it was going to be very costly for me to get it back, but I had to get it back. So not only that, it cost me a lot of money. I had to wait probably three to four months to get the full shipment back. And they sent it back in like different shipments, like 10 pieces here. Because once they received it at the warehouse, it gets dispersed to about 30 or 40 different warehouses. So for like two or three months, I'm still, still to this day from that first shipment, still, honest to God, getting back one or two units here and there of this. It's been probably three years, <laughs> and I'm still getting stuff back. If I were to quit or to listen to anyone or anything like that, I would not be probably sitting here right now. So don't listen to anyone. It's, they're, they're not part of your life. This is all a simulation anyway. <laughs> I'm not here. No one's here. So yeah, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. You're gonna, it's gonna cost you some money. Just be ready for it. Don't get discouraged. And if you really treat it like a business, it'll grow. With constant reinvestment and money, it's gonna take a lot of money. But as long as you're ready to reinvest almost everything back into it then like you're gonna be good there's no way that you're not gonna succeed in this if you just reinvest all of it I'm sure there's a lot of people that can't do that you need money to feed your family and everything like that you're not gonna grow as fast you're gonna you know it, you're not gonna grow as fast you're gonna hit be hitting walls you're gonna be like what the hell's going on and the only thing that could break you past that wall is more money and that's pretty much it um there's not going to be any like type of workflow or cost saving things that you could do because everything in this industry is very expensive even supplies there was a point where top loaders per case were costing me 120 dollars that's crazy that's like more almost more than double what they should cost um but if I cut corners, if I stopped shipping stuff in top loaders, if I did this, if I did that, I probably wouldn't have the customer base I had today. So you got to lose a little bit to gain in the long run. Um, I was doing the math when I was shipping out cards once back when the top loaders cost me so much. And like if someone would order a dollar card, I would literally lose them. I would lose money. Um, I would just lose. But you have to have the wide, you gotta cast a wide net to catch a lot of fish. So you gotta take the loss every now and then when someone orders a small order, whatever. This was then, now it's different. You have to take the loss every now and then. Uh, so people have a wide array of inventory to choose from. That's the only way you could really, sure, you can open a set here and a set there, like, I'm gonna do mass box open this one set, boom, and this is it. Then you're just a one trick pony, they ordered cards from you, they'll forget about you in a week. But if every time they go shopping for cards, they see your store, they remember your name, and they know that if they order stuff from you, that they're gonna get it in a timely fashion. 
<clears throat> believe me, I know, it sucks waiting for carts. It really does, especially when no one ships it out. I try and ship it out next day. Or even same day, if I'm, like, in the process of shipping. Um, but that's about it. That's all I got for you today. A little short one. I'm waiting for a shipment of my Yar my Yarzard. My Charizard UPCs. I was going to do some uh, Pokemon bulk and uh, sort some cards. I just figured I'd make a quick video. Try and... Uh, I've been getting a lot of messages of people that have been demotivated uh, lately. And I don't know if it's because of the, like, sort of crash in the, crash in the market. It's not a crash. It's just back to normal. <laughs> this is normal. Um, it's just back to normal. Um, anytime a new set comes out, it's good for about a week. And then it just sort of flatlines and you can't really make any money selling it online. That's completely normal. And that's healthy for a card game. Um, <clears throat> if... You could literally take that sealed box and make twenty or thirty dollars a box flipping it online. That's not healthy for a card game, and eventually the stock would be gone, and the price of the boxes would be insane. Um, very healthy for a card game to have a lot of stock and margins to be extremely low. It is what it is. That's the industry. <clears throat> so yeah, waiting for my Charizard UPCs. They tried to deliver it yesterday, but they said I wasn't here. But I was here. I was here. If you're listening, UPS. So, I'll catch you guys later. I'm watching my door like a hawk. And I'll see you in the next one.